Hey there on the SoundCal playing Donkey Kong Land 2, and I, I guess this could be the finale? Oh, you go sideways? No, you go down. It just took a while for the game to realize, and I guess... I don't know, like, how big this is, but we are getting close to the middle. Clobber Carnage! That was part of the original game, was that level with all all, all the clubbers. Whoa, jeez! Uh... I'll score real high in a million. So, yeah, okay, so, like, don't panic. Just panic. So, okay, so yeah, so you stun him, so that then you have the means to just throw a barrel at Harry Hedgehog. Alright, there we go. So a level where you are expected to cause collateral damage to poor little mammals. Get out of here, you're not a mammal. Just... In order to progress, it's not something you see. Oh, geez, what that barrel is just kind of flattened out there. Whoa, there, friendo. Yeah, fall in that pit. Ugh. Whoa, there, other friendo. You are the one that makes me want to fall in the pit. Wow, I, mean, I sure have a way with words. It's pretty incredible. All right, uh, geez, I don't know what's going on here. So, this barrel is like a lighter. That's your clue. That's your cue. That's a marabou. Uh, okay, well, that's kind of weird. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I can see you there. Barrel. Barrel. Okay, that's kind of scary. I just kind of went. This time it was a mistake. In DKC1, you know, every time you meet these barrels, and the first time you get in the right direction, is typically, like, a time where you can just let go. Clearly not the case here. You know what? That's fine. Shoot. Well, I messed it up here, though. That is also fine. Alright, just, just ignore all of these, man. They're, they just want your attention. Just glide through everything. Don't even acknowledge them. I don't even know where I am. That's how powerful a move this is. Alright, just get out of here, buddy, and explode. Violently into pieces. Hi. There we go. Alright, so, take two, the barrel run. So yeah, uh, now it should be good. Alright, I figured that one out. Then yeah, I'm here with TNT, I'm gonna blow up this bee. I don't know why, it's, it's there, and I got TNT. Like, what else am I gonna do? S start a streetcar challenge? Not in this economy! Alright, that barrel is just a barrel, don't worry. That DK, though, is full of monkeys. Alright, I don't know, we're ground up. Well, I think there's ground here. <laughs> Good thing there's no double spike glitch. Very happy for that. Alright, my hat protected me from the weather. The weather of the bee, hornet, bourbon, animal face. Let's go straight up. I mean, I can see this banana. Going straight up. Yeah, there we go. I was rewarded for going just straight up for no reason. That's how I live life. So it's always on the second run. I mean, sure, why not? Hey, there, buddy. You want to make me drop in that pit, huh? Well, I've got safety in barrels, so... That's something I just said. Hmm, it's kind of... That bonus barrel's pretty hard to find. I'm glad that I managed it on my first try. Oh, you're slow. Like we're in, like, a ramble or something. Oh, shoot. Well, alright. I misinterpreted what kind of barrel you were going to be today. Luckily, I can just go back right here and try it forever, so... Here we go. No stress. No fuss. No distress. And no margarine. That's how I like my stars. Just missing completely. I guess I misinterpreted how you're meant to be aligned. Like, completely. Huh. Uh, so how is this meant to work then? Do that. I guess you can go straight down. You can go here. You can go back up. Then you're gonna go return here. And I guess we're gonna explode back here. Then you're gonna auto explode there. And then we're gonna be. Yeah, there's one more level. Uh, that'll get us to. Well, I don't know. Yeah, it'll get us to 39. Then the last boss is gonna get us to 30. This is the finale. Well, I mean, you guys know it's the finale. Because it's gonna say so right on the video. I don't have that yet. There is still a mystery to me, alright? 
weird slowdown here. Nad Bug is just going. Oh, we're supposed to bounce Nad Bug. Know where the world is at. I don't know where the world is. Please don't tell me it is a spoiler. Just explode right into the boiler. Level that kind of happened, but yeah, like, again, a level that shares a name with a DK. Oh, with a DK, but, like, it's pretty much its own thing. With, like, but it feels very Donkey Kong Country 1 in its design, which is not a bad thing. So they've recreated animal antics, huh? With this music, sure. Let's see how this is gonna go. I mean, the Rambi part is just, yo, check it. Can you move forward? I can't. I forgot how. Please tell me. Uh, I'm gonna tell you. No, I know. Here we got B hops. Here we get to destroy a rat. It's all good fun. Here it says, nope. So you don't go directly from one animal to another, though, which is a little awkward. But hey, you know what? We're all a little awkward. That's right. I've said it. So you know it's true. Get out of here, dragonfly. I've died a lot to web shenanigans in this game. Landing on this thing on these things kind of feels terrible. And the weird dance that my fingers have to do. Even with the select button replaced with the R button. Like never feels natural. But I just Go on regardless, toiling underneath the bridge. I don't, I, I don't know what that meant. I don't think it matters. Nothing. What? See? I just phase through the webs all the time because, like, you. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Let's take the. Oh, shoot. Well, I died because of that. Yeah, I forget. I forgot. You can only have one active platform. Dude! Fine in the real game, Squitter, but in this game, I find you very stressful. Is there anything here? Or... Okay, sure. So I have one here from over, like just skipping everything. There's a pit. You can go in the pit. Should you go in the pit? Probably should avoid that pit. Put a bonus anywhere, real high or real low. That's what makes Squitter kind of stressful to explore with. Things can be anywhere, but you're subject to gravity and it's multiple laws still. Well, be up here, there we go. Well, I got a midpoint. That's fun. Something's happening. I could just glide here, and I'm tempted, but now I'm Ratly. I'm a big old snake. With a big, goofy face. Follow the arrows everywhere. Okay, there's something straight down here. Yeah, real money. Wow, that counted as jumping. Alright. I mean, you were in the air. That's all you need. Is this just me, or is this is some... Oh, shoot. I said almost. Well, I mean, I did say it. Uh, if I crank up a jump... Alright, yeah, here we go. Oh, shoot, keep going forward, keep going forward. Yeah, jump on that hedgehog, there we go. Alright. They just remove squawks? Maybe. I guess so. Huh, and there's no squawks and no on guard. It's like, it's animal antics. But, like, we're going to limit the antics to some animals, you know? Let's not be too ridiculous here. Well, that's something. Uh, can I glide there? Wow, okay. <laughs> um, 
Okay, and you give me a squitter here again. Alright. Oh, this is not good. I don't like this. Well, you get like a billion amount of times though, so that's pretty good. Man, I was lucky getting that midpoint. Like, I could have gotten me in a weird little place where I could not return. Wow, okay, yeah, the time is like hyper generous for this one. Alright then! Yeah, I was real lucky there, getting that midpoint. I was like, well, you know, I can check back, and you know, I was ready to just start select. But then I saw that path that kind of took me by surprise, and... Crocodile Core, let's just do it. Let's just end this game. Let's just... Hi, Crocodile Core, how's it going? The Core Crocodile Experience, right here in this cave. Chucking balls, and then there's a storm. There's a storm, and then there's a storm. Then you dash, and then maybe there's a storm. Oh no, you're- oh, whoops. I did not hold up for the uh, long enough. I would wager was my mistake there. I mean, I would hope post-game Croc, Croc Master is harder than final boss Croc Master. That was not very hard at all. But I mean, let's find out. So let's return this. Yeah, this is very similar, honestly. Yeah, uh-huh. Well, well, uh, well, I'm surprised you let me go with that one. I personally would have uh, made me get hit, honestly. Oh, what? Both together at once? This is the Forbidden Arts, the double bullet. Oh, to get hit in a dumb way. Oh, shoot. And yet, okay. Well, okay, see? This fight's a little bit more interesting. It's weird. I got hit in a dumb way. I'm not proud of myself. But I understand what's going on. So yeah, here, here, you know, like, you kind of want to go from bullet, 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 but no, it's a lot easier if you skip one. That's the law of the sea. Yes, I got hit there before. Whoa. There we go. Easy town, Muppet town. If you don't know how to go to Muppet town, it's okay. We will not judge you, we will not call you names, we won't even acknowledge you're the same. So does that barrier roll just stay there? Because in that case, that is just a flat out extra hit that I can benefit at any time. Like the barrel gets destroyed, yeah, destroyed like that. But uh, that's new to, well, floor, I made a mistake. These are interesting. Oh jeez. You gotta like... Yeah, do that. That is so rad. Like, that is a... Wow, I died, I died right at the end. I sure did. Whoa, whoa, he doesn't even have a final blast? Like a final, I got destroyed, so I'm gonna shoot you one last time? You just get rewarded. So I, I missed him dying, because I ran to the other side of the screen. <laughs> just that song at the end, and then the scene is over? <laughs> Oh, come on! Come on! Uh, well... I beat the game. Hey, we got the credits again. So, here's my fresh take. Um... You can take it if you want. I feel like Donkey Kong Land 1. Like, the first game... They had some fight into it. They went in there with something to prove. Like, they went out of their way to make a new enemy, which is a pig that can fly. As is to say, you know, hey, we recreated the DKC style on Game Boy, which is something we were told would be impossible. They had, they had some fight, they had something to prove, and they'd done it. It wasn't, like, perfect, and it was glitchy, but it had a lot of personality and it was very strange. This game, in contrast, felt like an obligation. DKC2 was a big success, so we gotta have a Game Boy port, and, uh, yeah, all you guys here in the back office, you, you guys go ahead and do that. While we work on the real project that most of the teams are working on. No, like, that's the vibe I got, and it's really unfortunate. They just tried to do a port, and it didn't work. Like, the, the, the game itself is a lot more solid, it's not nearly as glitchy, you can actually see things at all times, which is 
an extreme net positive, but it's in the design. Felt very uninspired, and it was just kind of that. Yeah, these are these levels. Sometimes we make our own levels. They're okay. They're not spectacular, but they're okay. And that's how you end up with an LP with the general mood that it had, <laughs> for better or for worse. I mean, it was all right. Some parts really dragged on for me, though. I mean, I'm still curious about DKC3. I was told that. Um, DKC3, while not as wild as 1, land by, sorry, DKL3, while not nearly as wild as 1, basically, like, takes the over gimmick DKC3 and instead makes it more about platforming. So I'm curious to play that out. I'm genuinely uh, curious to try it out, probably later this year. But we've got other things to play! Including what's coming up next time, which um, has me in trepidation. I mean, it's just a Mario ROM hack. I've played a lot of those. What's what's so special about that? Well, Crockhead can swim through the road. That's what's weird about that. 